The Book of the Resurrection of Jesus Christ by Bartholomew the Apostle Do not let this book come into the hand of any man who is an unbeliever and a heretic. Behold, this is the seventh time that I have commanded you, O my son Thaddeus, concerning these mysteries. Do not reveal them to any impure man, but keep them safely. Joseph of Arimathea buried the body of Jesus. Death came to, into Amente, the underworld, asking who the new arrival was, for he detected a disturbance. He came to the tomb of Jesus with his six sons in the form of serpents. Jesus lay there. It was the second day, Saturday, with his face and head covered with napkins. Death addressed his son, the pestilence, and described the commotion which had taken place in his domain. Then he spoke to the body of Jesus and asked, Who are you? Jesus removed the napkin that was on his face and looked in the face of death and laughed at him. Death and his sons fled. Then they approached again and the same thing happened. He, was, he addressed Jesus again at some length, suspecting but not certain who he was. Then Jesus rose and mounted into the chariot of the cherubim. He wrought havoc in hell, breaking the doors, binding the demons Beliar and Melchior, and delivered Adam and the holy souls. Then he turned to Judas Iscariot, and uttered a long rebuke, and described the sufferings which he must endure. Thirty names of sin are given, which are the snakes that were sent to devour him. Jesus rose from the dead, and Abaton, death, and pestilence came back to Amente to protect it, but they found it wholly desolate. Only three souls were left in it, those of Herod, Cain, and Judas. Meanwhile, the angels were singing the hymn which the seraphim sing at dawn on the Lord's day over his body and his blood. Early in the morning of the Lord's day, the women went to the tomb. They were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, whom Jesus delivered out of the hand of Satan, Salome, who tempted him, Mary, who ministered to him, and Martha, her sister, Joanna, the wife of Cusa, who had renounced the marriage bed, Bernice, who was healed of an issue of blood in Capernaum, Leah, the widow whose son he raised at Nain, and the woman to whom he said, Your many sins uh, are forgiven you. These were all in the garden of Philogenes, whose son, Simeon, Jesus healed when he came down from the Mount of Olives with the apostles. Mary said to Philogenes, If you are indeed he, I know you. Philogenes said, You are Mary, the mother of Thalcomerimath, which means joy, blessing, and gladness. Mary said, If you have borne him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Fear not. Philogenes told how the Jews sought a safe tomb for Jesus that the body might not be stolen, and he offered to place it in a tomb in his own garden and watch over it, and they sealed it and departed. At midnight he rose and went out and found all the orders of angels, cherubim, seraphim, powers, and virgins. Heaven opened, and the Father raised Jesus. Peter, too, was there and supported Philogenes, or he would have died. The Savior then appeared to them on the chariot of the Father and said to Mary, Marie car Mariath, Mary, the mother of the Son of God. Mary answered, Rabboni kathiathari mioth, the Son of God, the Almighty, my Lord and my Son. A long address to Mary from Jesus follows, in the course of which he bids her to tell his brethren, I ascend to my Father and your Father. Mary says, if indeed I am not permitted to touch you, at least bless my body in which you are deigned to dwell. Believe me, my brethren, the holy apostles, I, Bartholomew, beheld the Son of God on the chariot of the cherubim. All of the heavenly hosts were about him. He blessed the body of Mary. She went and gave the message to the apostles, and Peter blessed her, and they rejoiced. Jesus and the redeemed souls ascended into heaven, and the Father crowned him. The glory of this scene Bartholomew could not describe. It is here he here that enjoins his son Thaddeus not to let this book fall into the hands of the impure. Then follows a series of hymns sung in heaven, eight in all, which accompany the reception of Adam and the other holy souls into glory. Adam was eighty cubits high, and Eve fifty. They were brought to the Father by Michael. 
Bartholomew had never seen anything to compare with the beauty and the glory of Adam, save that of Jesus. Adam was forgiven, and all the angels and saints rejoiced and saluted him and departed each to their place. Adam was set at the gate of life to greet all the righteous as they enter, and Deeb was set over all the women who had done the will of God to greet them as they come into the city of Christ. As for me, Bartholomew, I remained many days without food or drink, nourished by the glory of the vision. The apostles thanked and blessed Bartholomew for what he had told them. He should be called an apostle of the mysteries of God, but he protested, I am the least of you all, a humble workman. Will not the people of this city say when they see me, Is not this Bartholomew the man of Italy, the gardener, the dealer in vegetables? Is not this the man who lives in the garden of Hierocrates, the governor of our city? How has he attained this greatness? At the time when Jesus took us up into the Mount of Olives, he spoke to us in an unknown tongue, which he revealed to us, saying, Anatharoth, or... The heavens were opened, and we all went up into the seventh heaven. And the apostles gazed after him. He prayed to the Father to bless us. The Father, with the Son and the Holy Ghost, laid his hand on the head of Peter, and made him archbishop of the whole world. And all that is bound or loosed by him on earth should be so in heaven. None who is not ordained by him shall be accepted. Each of the apostles was separately blessed. Andrew, James, John, Philip. The cross will precede him wherever he goes. Thomas, Bartholomew. He will be the depository of the mysteries of the Son. Matthew, his shadow, will heal the sick. James, son of Alphaeus, Simon Zelotes, Judas of James, Thaddeus, Matthias, who was rich and left all to follow Jesus. And now, my brethren, the apostles, forgive me, I, Bartholomew, am not a man to be honored. The apostles kissed and blessed him, and then with Mary they offered the Eucharist. The Father sent the Son down into Galilee to console the apostles and Mary, and he came and blessed them and showed them his wounds, and committed them to the care of Peter, and gave them their commission to preach. They kissed his side and sealed themselves with the blood that flowed thence. He went up to heaven. Thomas was not with them, for he had departed to his city. Hearing that his son, Siophanes, was dead, it was the seventh day since the death when he arrived. He went to the tomb and raised him in the name of Jesus. Siophanes told him of the taking of his soul by Michael, how it sprang from his body and lighted on the hand of Michael, who wrapped it in a fine linen cloth, how he crossed the river of fire and it seemed to him as water, and was washed thrice in the Acherusian lake, how in heaven he saw the twelve splendid thrones of the apostles and was not permitted to sit on his father's throne. Thomas and he went into the city to the consternation of all who saw them. He, Siophanes, addressed the people and told his story, and Thomas baptized twelve thousand of them, founded a church, and made Siophanes its bishop. Then Thomas mounted on a cloud, and it took him on to the Mount of Olives, and to the apostles, who told him of a visit of Jesus, and he would not believe. Bartholomew admonished him. Then Jesus appeared, and made Thomas touch his wounds, and departed into heaven. This is the second time that he showed himself to his disciples after he had risen from the dead. This is the book of the resurrection of Jesus the Christ, our Lord, in joy and gladness, in peace. Amen. Peter said to the apostles, Let us offer the offering before we separate. They prepared the bread, the cup, and incense. Peter stood by the sacrifice and the others round the table. They awaited. Their hearts rejoiced. Worship the Son of God. He took his seat his father. His body was on the table around which they were assembled, and they divided it. They, they saw the blood of Jesus pouring out as living blood down into the cup. Peter said, God has loved us more than all in letting us see these great honors, and our Lord Jesus Christ has allowed us to behold, and he has revealed to us the glory of his body and divine blood. They partook of the body and blood, and then they separated and preached the word.